Shalom and welcome to another episode in our series of emotions. Today we are going to be looking at how we can be emotionally whole. Scripture says in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. You know, God desires that we stay healthy, not just in our physical bodies or in us or in the spiritual area, but also in our emotional health. The well-being of our souls is very important to God. As we journey through life, there are going to be many things that people may say about us or feel or we may feel about ourselves that stick like those negative labels, which we often repeat in our minds, just having it to be lies. Uh, and these, these lies or these negative labels often are no match to what God says in His Word. One thing that keeps us emotionally unhealthy is when we keep feeding on these lies and these negative labels over and over again. You know, it's a simple principle that we, we must understand from the way we maintain even our physical health. When we eat junk food, we are obviously going to get unhealthy. Similarly, when we feed ourselves with lies or things that are negative, it is going to affect our emotional health. When we feed ourselves with those lies, it tends to take a hold of us. It tends to take a hold of it so much so that it becomes a stronghold. So what do we do? For us to counteract these lies, we need to establish ourselves in the Word of God that speaks the truth about who we are. Scripture says, and it reminds us, that when we abide in God's Word, we shall know the truth, and it is that truth that sets us free. For example, let's say at work you may get a poor appraisal, and this could, you've probably been marked at your work and told that you're not good enough. The more that you feed on this, the more that it becomes a belief, and later it becomes a stronghold that continues to take hold of you. But staying emotionally whole is to discard these lies and embrace what God's Word says. And God's Word says, He who trusts in the Lord, the Lord will prosper. Or it maybe you're a student who's had multiple failures and you feel that you're bound to fail no matter what. But take authority and speak God's Word over you, that you have the mind of Christ, that you can do all things in Christ who strengthens you. As you feed on His Word, you will begin to see the lies, the stronghold breaking. So make that choice in your journey today. Wherever you see an emotional stronghold, you need to every day keep your mind free and engage it in the Word of God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that helps us in every area of our lives and especially in our emotions. Wherever we are captured, wherever we are in a stronghold, we pray that your word will come to us, your word will abide in us and be that double-edged sword and create the truth that sets us free. Thank you because you love us and you want us to be emotionally whole. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.